see any holes. I've always said that on slabs uh, we're all the same, but that's not really true. Uh, some people are really good at slabs. Unfortunately, I'm not one of them. Heinz is one of them. So did you vault uh, Super Swing, uh, Heinz? Long time ago, in 1983. How many repetitions do you think it's gotten since then? Not many, because that kind of climbing uh, came out of fashion yeah. with the overhangs. Nobody here anymore. It's great. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I love that. What would you say is the secret to slab climbing? To get used to it. Learning by doing. Yeah, that's the same thing I do with the climbing shoes. Yeah. It's uh, not a sophisticated process. It's. It's a very complicated process, yeah. but I guess failing a lot and not be scared of trying new things. Yeah. You know, that's what makes it. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You just need experience and practice. I think it's the only way that you really perfect it. No. And there's no shortcut to that. You're a pretty good slab climber yourself now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm good until I slip off. But you've done this route. Yeah, I've done this one. I think I came and tried it three times the first day and then still didn't succeed. And even when I came back the second day, I still fell off as well. A horrible nightmare period of my life that I really... <laughs> <laughs> traumatic. The whole thing, I could honestly say the whole thing was traumatic. Yeah. <laughs> I think if you come and you think it's just like, 70 plus and you're just gonna walk up it, it's gonna be really disappointing. You just can't use your power on these type of routes. But in another way, it's really satisfying when you do it. Just right. as satisfying as an 8B plus or 8C. Yeah. Cause it's difficult. But do you think the reason people don't climb this more often is because of the grade or because of the fact that it's slab? The grade, it totally f***s up your ego. Yeah. You walk off like a, an 8C and come here and you know, you can't do a 7B. A grade's only a reflection of the difficulty for that person at the time. It doesn't really mean much and as soon as you swap between different styles, you quickly learn exactly where you're really at. Nobody else uh, was uh, thinking even uh, that to try uh, it, uh, something like this. Because it looks completely blank when yeah, you see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, looks unclimbable. It was, was a new dimension of, uh, of smooth for us. Do you think I'll be able to do this uh, first try? You can always get lucky. Mm, no, <laughs> I need some time to get used to yeah, it. Yeah, but one thing that's really lucky for me is that the draws are in now. And that helps a lot, I think. Because having to lock in weird positions and yeah, both good. put the quick draw and then clip <laughs> makes it a lot harder. And at the time when we bolted the roots, yeah. in that time we didn't try the moves. Okay. We just put the bolts where we thought we can clip. Back then, the 7B plus was like really hard, right? That yeah. Was, but when you try it, I mean, now you have more reference, you try the mini roots. Do you still think it's 7B plus? I would, uh, I would say it's 7C. 7C? Uh, but okay. with the new perspective. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know. We tried but to I mean, also do hold the grades down. Yeah, what I want to do is I want to try not to fight my way up it. Yeah. I want to try to like master it a little bit. Yeah, this is yeah. when you know yeah. you're climbing well. That's old style, you know. <laughs> Never look like you have a hard time. I think if you can do it in really good style, then you know you're coming closer to mastering it. Mm -hmm. Because if you really crush the holds and you just kind of lock off, you kind of missing the style of it and you're not getting the full benefit of the route. The right. full benefit is just to shift really beautifully over your it's feet. It's a little bit scary too, so? Yeah, for me it's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> the perspective when you're down is like, I'm gonna f***ing die. Right. I'm gonna just tumble my way down this cheese grater. You're used to getting your hands behind things, mm -hmm. you don't get your hands behind things. Kind of just stand there. Yeah. And the foot pump. Foot yeah, pump, the yeah. foot pump. Bad foot pump. Well, I'm just gonna jump on it. I mean, we haven't, there are no other warm up routes here. I mean, there's a 60 over here, but they say it's almost worse than the 70 <laughs> plus, so I'm just gonna go straight, straight on it.
的呗。Yeah. Okay, climbing. Take real quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <close. laughs> okay. That was a fun route. I mean, I was pretty close to the top, but I think this is the crux right here. Yeah. It's uh, really hard. It's very hard to reach. So Heinz, is that how you do it? I don't remember <laughs> how I did it. The exit move for sure I did like that. Yeah. And, and you, below maybe I did a little different. Technical wise, because I feel like I climbed it pretty powerful. Totally powerful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what should I think about to climb more like you? You shouldn't think. What if I try to pretend to make it really pretty? Do you think that will help me improve? Ah, you have to move your hips. In the tight back yeah, then, right? Yeah, it was yeah. the tight time, yeah. We even believed uh, in it that we would climb better with tights. Okay. The more colorful they were, the better we felt it was. <laughs> Gave you extra extra power. I had all kinds of colors. How did it look from down here? Powerful. <laughs> <laughs> really powerful. Actually, I thought like uh, when you did the bottom bit, I thought maybe you do it at top. Yeah, yeah. Because you had the mono and then uh, I think I saw your clip. I thought, well, maybe you do it. <laughs> and then you f***ed it up. I think it went too, 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 too. Didn't go right, huh? You tried to just power straight up. Yeah, straight yeah, up. yeah, yeah. You should just stop training for a full year. <laughs> yeah, then exactly. Then go back and you would climb much you better. You would be a That's much better climber. Yeah, yeah. Significantly weaker, but much better <laughs> climber. <laughs> We've quickly got to the approach, and now we're going to go up this Beautiful piece of pristine limestone. <laughs> you wanna go or I wanna go? Who wants to die first? Uh, next route that we're gonna try is called Tom and Jerry and it's from 84 so it's one year later than the 7B plus that we tried earlier. This I think is also a route that means a lot to Heinz. He is the one who originally bolted it and back in 84, 7C was really hard. 84 so that's, I mean that's like 35 years ago. Like here, I don't see a single hole. <laughs> Holy shit. There are no holes. <laughs> like what are you supposed to do? <laughs> I told you. I told you. It looks desperate. You're doing really good. Hang in there. Woo! No way. Yeah. Okay. Pull on. Yeah, yeah. 
But I don't see any holes either way, so. This is only the 7A to get to the 7C. This is the 7A and it's actually got some kind of special name that means it's really, really easy. Some kind of sick Heinz Mariaka joke. I couldn't see any holes. I know. Do you couldn't... think something broke or do you think it's just really, really hard? I think people just had like some kind of mental disorder back then. They thought it was really funny to climb these things. Like in the old days, the worst thing could possibly happen would be someone downgrade your route. You always said it was less than what it was. Nowadays it feels almost the opposite. You kind of get the higher grade and then the front cover of the magazine and then it's all forgotten, isn't it? Basically, <laughs> gets downgraded. Yeah. Whereas I think in these days, like, you know, there wasn't that kind of narcissistic behavior. So in the small climbing circles, it was really important that people saw your roots as hard. That's why you always graded them way less than what they were. This thing's definitely some kind of sick joke there. To think that you did this 35 years ago and call it 7A is crazy to me. <laughs> Santiarissimo means uh, the easy way or really easy. Definitely not the easy way. But the one above us, that looks like it's been revolted. Yeah, which yeah. is not bad because it was uh, 8 millimeter. <laughs> 8 millimeter volts. For those of you who don't know, hand bolted, you have to like hammer. hammer. For, for the 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes for one bolt. And they only this far into the wall, and they're eight millimeters. The modern bolts are 10 millimeters. Yeah, I'm glad we don't have to uh, yeah. <laughs> climb on like 35 year old uh, <laughs> hand bolted eight millimeter bolts. But this looks pretty steep. Yeah, this, this was one of the first steps to steeper rock. Right? Okay. Yeah. When 7A feels this hard, I was like worried about the 7C. In but my I don't think it will be easier. Maybe this will be easier this, than uh, this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's good to know. I don't know. Yeah. I think I've seen a picture of this in a magazine. Yes, yes. Yeah. Before it was a little bit embarrassing sometimes to be in a magazine. In, in, in the, the old, old times, yeah. 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 You never wanted to tell people about, oh, I did this great route. Yeah. And you, you always waited that someone would ask you. So that was the <laughs> story. And now it's very different. It's very, almost, very different, yeah. <laughs> with Instagram, it's almost yeah. like everyone has their own magazine. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. Yo, man. Guess I'll try it again. Yeah. This here, kind of crucial. Pretty hard to find the holes. Uh, the white rock looks so. I mean, it's so strange. It's so hard to find where to go and. But now I have a tick marked and I'm gonna try it again. For me, there was like an underclean match you had to do. Uh huh. And then you had to cross up from that and it feels really weird. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like you always have a lot of tension on your feet. For me, that's yeah. unusual. You have to <laughs> trust the, the friction. Yeah, <laughs> and it feels like I get actually tired, my soul get, or my feet get tired. Yeah. It's uh, very unusual. I know it's a pretty low number, but I feel great about it. It was hard. So uh, that was a pretty uh, humbling experience. I failed on the 7B Plus Super Swing. I definitely failed on the 7A. I don't even know how that's possible. And uh, but I succeeded on the on the last route, Tom and Jerry. Guess Probably AA. A. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I would. Yeah, I would say that for me that 7C would be as hard as doing like a physical 8B or something. To be honest, I don't think I've improved anything by this trip, but uh, it was nice to try some of the old school slabs here in Arco. <laughs> so yeah, that was it for uh, this video. Make sure to like and subscribe as always, and uh, I will see you in the next one.